Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to replace the charging port or the power jack on the Dell 15-5000 or 15-5558. Uh, um, it's very simple. Uh, the first, first of all, we're going to start. I already start working on it, but I'm just going to walk you through how to do it. Um, we're going to remove the screws from here. Here. Those three screws. The one for the DVD um, drive, screws right here, two screws, and then you go backward right to the keyboard. On the keyboard, you're just going to push one, two, three, four, five, so you can take off the keyboard from the, from the uh, socket. Take it off, and then you will see there is two other cables that connect into the motherboard. You're just gonna peel it up, so you can pull this one very easy. Remove it up, and then take off the cable. Okay, the keyboard is gone. Then we're gonna remove the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. After you remove all the screws, this one is for the power button, this one probably for the USB, you're just gonna peel it up, right here, take off this one, then you go backward again, okay. take off the door panel, then we're gonna remove the screws on the hard drive one two three and four and then the cable be careful the cable is already attached to the motherboard we're gonna just peel it take off the hard drive take all the screws right here okay remove the speakers will be connected, remove the speakers, remove the Wi-Fi card, I already did it, and then take off the screw first, you can take off the DVD drive. Okay, after all, starts very easy, only from the edges. And boom. If you cannot pull it right, do not just break it, just very easy. Or double check if you forgot any screws. On my case, I did not. There you go. And here is the charging port. Goes all the way to the motherboard on the bottom. So we're just gonna remove the screws first remove this screw for the motherboard and this screws will give you a uh, space to work very easy on the motherboard you're gonna just check off the display cable just pull it up take this one off and then you're just gonna lift it once you lift it just peel it the power jack take it off and just lift this one and you're done and then put the new one the same way how it is the same way for the old one back put the screws connect again the display make sure it's all the way in then lock it and then Put the screws back. Okay. Gonna put the screws for the motherboard. 